This is Q1. Uh, clearly, here's one more. That's not in the show. And this was actually uh, a work that I started on about a year ago and made a decision to eliminate all the background, to get rid of all of the information so that it was purely about, or at least visually mainly about, the figure uh, appearing in this empty space. Uh, so that the, the ambiguity was heightened um, because we don't know where this is. Fact, fiction, scale has changed drastically. Um, all the information is gone. It, it, um, it's very different than some of the other iterations and that's something that I find very interesting is when an image just gets under my skin and I, um, it just resonates and I just keep pushing to see what it's telling me and what I'm learning about what's happening visually and how we understand that. So this interest in ambiguity uh, does very little to the viewer in the sense that we feel things that are not ambiguous. We, we see that these hands have control over the child's arms. We look at the grip of the hands and think, is that hurting the child because she's arching back and she seems to be swung into motion? So it's Again, uh, these verticals offer us a real gothic sensibility, a little bit dark, and yet we see the child's hand holding the adult's fingers, and that doesn't look like a gesture of fear or fight. Uh, instead, it looks like a, a gesture of trust. So that much I can get from it. Historically, again, Cuba, Cuba is an area that has 